How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now very recently I've been reviewing coolers, CPU coolers. I've done the Deep Cool Captain 240 EX, the Scythe Pieco Air Cooler, the Scythe Mugen 5 Rev B, which is my new favorite cooler, and now I have the Reven Hans Air Cooler. Now I really enjoy making these kinds of videos because I get to work on my computer and experiment different things with it. Anyway, the Reven Hans sells for about $37 on Amazon. It's a compact cooler, it's actually installed right now on my computer. It comes with a 120mm fan. It is yellow by the way, it has a black and yellow color scheme. You may think that the black and yellow won't really fit in with your case, but it'll look good in most of them, it actually looks good in mine. Unless you have other colors like purple, red or whatever, and then in that case it may not fit in. But this case should fit, like physically fit, in many different cases it's not that big, it should fit in many ATX cases with no problem. So today I'm going to be unboxing it, show you guys what's in the box. I'm also going to give you guys a tutorial on how to install it and I'm going to test it slightly, just run a couple tests to form my first impressions. So please make sure to leave a like, give me a comment down below and also consider subscribing. Enjoy. Alright, so the unboxing. I like the box by the way, the red color with a yellow fan in the front looks good. Anyway, opening the box you can see the top of the cooler with the Reven branding and you can already tell it's a high quality item. On the side you have the fan with the yellow fan blades, it's gonna look really good when it's spinning full speed. It's a 120mm fan like I said earlier. On the other side we have a box full of essential items, inside you'll find the brackets, screws, nuts, washers, a small amount of thermal paste, the fan clips or hooks, whatever you want to call them, and of course the manuals. Then the main part of the box, the Hans CPU cooler itself. This thing looks and feels high quality. I really like the Reven branding on top, it looks great and fits in perfectly. The Hans reminds me a bit of the Scythe Biako I recently reviewed. This one's a little bit bigger and has a 120mm fan whereas the Biako had a 92mm fan. So this one should be better. Anyway, it's compatible with a lot of socket types and platforms. I'll be installing it inside of the 1151 platform to cool my Intel Core i7-7700K. So let's get to the installation. One thing to keep in mind is that you'll need a screwdriver. The cooler doesn't come with one, it does come with a wrench for other purposes. The installation process was not difficult once I knew what I was doing. The hardest part is figuring out where everything goes. The manual is not the easiest to understand. Anyway, for the 1151 bracket, you're going to want to pick up the black bracket and put the long screws through the middle hole of the bracket. Then insert the screws in the four holes through the back of the motherboard. You might have to hold them because they do move since there's nothing to hold them yet. The next step is easy. Just get the white standoffs and place them over the long screws on the inner side of the motherboard. After that, the 1151 requires washers, so you put those in there. I don't know if you absolutely have to have them installed. It doesn't seem like they do much. Anyway, put the washers over the standoffs and then get the other bracket. Also, make sure that the long screws go through the middle hole if you're using the 1151 platform. Then while holding everything in place, you can add the nuts on top of the bracket you just installed. Put in one at a time and slightly tighten them with your fingers just so they can stay in place. Then you can lay your PC on its side and then you can use a wrench that comes in the box to fully tighten them. Once that's done, apply some thermal paste to your CPU, not too much. Then you can place the other bracket right under the heatsink, align it with the screw holes from the other bracket and tighten it using the other screws. There are a lot of steps, but most of them are pretty straightforward, it's actually kind of easy. Oh and I almost forgot. Then you install the fan with the included fan clips. You have to install the fan at the end, because if you do it before, then you're not gonna be able to reach that screw on the side to screw in the cooler. The fan blocks it. As you can see, this fan has an interesting color combo. It won't match many cases, but in this case, I think it looks good. I also played around with the RAM and case lighting to find what colors make the yellow look good. It's not hard for it to fit in. Also, if you look closely, you can see that the cooler and the fan are not blocking any RAM slots and do not interfere with anything else. I really like the look of it. It's slim and very high quality. On the other side of the heatsink, you can add another 120mm fan if you'd like. You'll probably get slightly better temperatures that way. Talking about the temperatures, I did run a couple tests so far to test the capabilities of the Reven Hans cooler. But before that, here are my PC specifications on screen. Feel free to pause the video. The CPU is not overclocked, and the temperature outside is 79 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 Celsius, and the room temperature is 74 degrees Fahrenheit or 23 Celsius. These tests were run with the NZXT case closed. Anyway, on idle, the CPU ran at around 39 degrees Celsius, which isn't bad. Most coolers I've had get around 39 degrees Celsius. When stressing out the CPU at full load running Cinebench, the lowest temperature was 59 and the highest was 76. 
Once again, not bad, but I've seen better. And when gaming, playing Battlefield 1 at 1440p resolution with ultra settings, the highest I saw the temperature go was 76 degrees Celsius, and the average was around 68. That's perfectly normal, especially considering the high resolution I was playing the game at. So far, this cooler is performing just as I expected. Once again, with another fan on the other side, and a push-pull configuration, the temperatures will be slightly lower. After testing the Hans, I also noticed that it's very quiet. Here's how it sounds when idle and at full speed. Good stuff. Anyway, this cooler looks like a very good option for a budget build with a Core i5 or something like that. For the $37, I would say so far so good, but I will have a full review very soon, so stay tuned for that. That's it for this video, please make sure to leave a like, a comment down below, and consider subscribing. Thank you guys for watching.